What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video in our Hidden Gem series. Today we are taking a look at Benfica's Rafa Silva. Now this guy has been on my Hidden Gem list way back with eFootball 2022. He's cheap, he's a beast, he is absolutely brilliant in multiple positions, he's got excellent player skills, and he is bossing at the moment in real life as well, hence why he is on an A rating. So he is my player of the week this week. He's a right winger. He can play left wing, right wing, AS, a, or SS or AMF, left mid or right mid. And he is just insane, lads. Look at the player skills he has. Double touch, Marseille, turn, cut behind and turn, soul control. Then the shooting. He has knuckle shot, dip and shot. Then the passing, true passing and outside curler. Unbelievable player, lads. Absolutely unbelievable. He was in my hidden gems for eFootball 22 per position, budget players per position, way back when. He is only 51,000 GP. As I said, he can play in a multitude of positions. He's on A rating this week. He's got unwavering form. He's a right footer, but he can play either foot uh, because he's got medium uh, pass accuracy. He does need a bit of play style proficiency, obviously, but for 51,000, you can get him and train him up. You could have two different versions of him. Genuinely, I actually, on my other account, I have two versions of him. And I'm going to show you the two different versions that I have, uh, that I have him as over on eFootballDB.com in a second before we train him up and then we show you a couple of clips at the end as well. So, as I said, he ticks all the boxes, right, as a hidden gem. He's a well-known player, obviously, especially in Portugal, but he is a hidden gem in terms of Dream Team, that a lot of people won't use him. They'll use your regular Dembele's, and they'll use your Antony's, and your Neymar's, and your Messi's. This guy is something that you can kind of add, especially in off the bench. He doesn't have super sub, but you can add him in off the bench um, and be able to kind of like have that impact that you are going to be able to bring in. So we are going to train him in a second, but first we're going to head over to eFootballDB to just make sure we want to train him up the right way if I'm if I'm uh, showing you guys how you can train him. So if you're training him as an AMF or an SS, which is an 84 overall, if you want to make him kind of like Messi, he's very similar to Messi, very similar height, play style, motions, um, dribble and technique, everything. You can do that or else you can train him in the first screen as an AMF or you can train him in this screen as a out and outright right winger or left winger. I have him as a right wing or a left wing depending on who's up or who's not but they are the two options. So he does take about what 48,000 GP, 49,000 GP uh, for the or 49,000 level trainers for the progression points to get maxed out for his training, which, look, it isn't bad. I think if you're looking at maybe like, you know, 50,000 trainer points for him, he only has 29 levels. I think what would make this card like meta and god tier would genuinely be if he had maybe five more levels and then uh, you'd be able to kind of boost up maybe one or two more stats. But this is what his stats are going to look like when you train him up, right? So we've got 56 levels. Because I'm going to be playing him, I am going to put two or three into out wide. I'll probably end up with three, um, and I'll just see in a second. I'm going to give him maybe one or two for passing. I'll see in a second. But my main concern here is to get his acceleration and his speed over 90. That's kind of where I'm going with it. The higher I can get with the speed and the acceleration and the balance, that's what I really want there. And the dribbling, obviously, of course, as well. So if I'm looking here, he's got 89 speed, 94 acceleration, stamina 76, 88 balance, and then we can take, you know, whatever we want with the passing. We can get three marks on the passing there, or else we can sacrifice a bit of the passing and we can sacrifice the 99 play style proficiency, which is what I end up doing. Because if I am going to be playing him, I'm not going to be playing him as my all-rounder. You know, that Neymar is going to come on and be able to either be a passer, an assist man, uh, a goal scorer, a finesse shooter, or whatever. When I give the extra points here to the passing or to the body strength, we do get that 90 speed, 94 acceleration, 88 balance, and 88 dribbling. Insane. For 51,000 GP, he kind of reminds me of St. Maximin. That's kind of what he reminds me of, except he's on A form this week. And the thing, lads, that I want to focus you guys on, right? as he goes to an 89 overall there, the thing I want to focus on, right, is the difference with Rafa Silva, I think, and a lot of other wingers, is some wingers just have a natural ability to be able to, like, and some players in the game, they have a natural ability to be able to actually, like, block passing lanes, get the ball back when they lose it. You'll see multiple times here in just one game where I'm cutting in or I'm cutting back, and I win the ball. You'll see here he just takes the ball back, on an attack again, little bass and little ba and, and pass and move. Here again is probably the best one. You know, out in the wing, lovely little dribble in, nearly loses the ball, in tight possession, loses it, wins it back, and gives me a goal scoring opportunity back in here again, where I probably should have scored, except the AI actually make an unreal save. So that is it for me in another hidden gem. 
And I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos lately, lads. I'm really trying to grind and really trying to get out content that you guys are suggesting me to do. So yeah, keep the suggestions coming. Keep the recommendations coming. Let me know what you're enjoying. We will be doing a load of videos like this as well as a couple of other new features. So yeah, let me know your feedback. I will talk to you later. Subscriber Showdown will be back soon. Dream Team is continuing on with our March to D1. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. Have a good day, lads. I will talk to you soon. Peace.